Hi, thanks for tuning in this week. You know, here's what I believe, you're a leader. Now you might not have that title at work, or you might not even feel that in your heart of hearts, but you're a leader, you lead yourself, you lead maybe your family, you lead colleagues or your community, but you're a leader. And one of the things that we need to focus our time and our energy and effort is leading ourselves first. Now, over the last 25 years, I've been fortunate to travel to 33 different countries and speak to 1.6 million people. And so you get a chance to look, observe, witness great leaders. And I wanted to share with you what I believe are the 16 great qualities and characteristics of fabulous leaders. And I want you to think as I go through these 16, how do you stack? alongside this. So here's the first one I want to share with you as part of this process. What are the qualities of significant leaders? Well, they look around these couple of areas here. They're energized. In other words, they're passionate. You and I both know that if I could never ever use the word passion ever again, I'd use the word energy. Why? Because you want to hang around people that have got good energy. You want to hang around leaders. What has that quote go? People don't leave companies. Now they join companies, they join brands, but they leave leaders. Why? Because sometimes they're not energized, engaged, and in thirst. A leader has to have clarity. A, a, what's their goal? What's their vision? A leader needs to have not only a goal and a vision, but they need to have a plan. So they need to have strategy. And a leaders are prepared to change. They're not sitting and waiting for things to happen around them. They're making things happen in their life in their family, in their community, in the roles they do in their business. Here's the next one. Leaders are great at building connections with people, not just communicating with people, but building connections with people. Now here's the difference between those two. If I don't have a connection with you, you won't watch this video. But if I have a connection with you, you'll watch the video, you'll respond to an email or a call to action, whatever it might be. Leaders are coachable. How coachable are you? Who's your coach at the moment? I'm so grateful that you watch these videos as part of your own personal and professional development, but what else are you doing to be, make sure that you are coachable and developing yourself? Because you and I, as leaders, we need to continue to enhance our expertise and we need to continue to be the learner. We have to be lifelong learners if we're gonna be leaders even of ourselves rather than of people around us. What else is part of this process? Leaders are great influencers. They influence people in a positive way. It's not about them commanding and directing and managing. It's about how they influence through their words, through their actions, by being that living example. Also, leaders are great at presenting, pre presenting and pitching their ideas to people and sharing those ideas so people almost feel like it's their idea. Leaders the, some of the great leaders are highly productive. They manage their time well. They, they're, they're proactive in their approach. They're, they're thinking about what's not just on top of the hill, not just what's over the hill, but what's around the corner from there. They're curious and hence they become proactive. And finally, leaders have momentum. Not motivation, but they have created momentum because they've implemented their ideas. They measure their results. What's working? What didn't? What do we do about it? What do we change, adjust, and modify? They have great rituals or habits or routines in place that make sure that they deliver the right type of results by doing something consistently, day in, day out. Whether that be exercise, whether that be activity, whether that be reframing their attitude and mindset, and here's what we do know, leaders are great implementers. They're not talkers, they're doers. They, they actually take an idea and turn it into a strategy and take that strategy and implement it into their life or into the role that they do in their, in their business. And so one of the things I wanted to spend the time with you is really to start to think about what is the quality, the one quality that you need to work on. For you to be a great leader in your life first, what's that one quality you need to work on? And more importantly around this is when do you start to do something with it? What is the one specific action you're gonna take in the next day, the next week, the next month to move yourself towards the leader that you deserve to be, the leader you desire to be, and the leader that will take you to the destinations that are in your wildest dreams?
As always, if you've got a question, send me an email, keith at keithabraham.com.au, and I look forward to talking to you real soon. Thanks for tuning in. Bye now.